Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm over here with Scott Ferguson from Financial Concepts and we're talking about if you change your jobs, what do you do with your 401k? How are you my friend? Doing good, Welcome how are you doing? Show. I'm fantastic. Before we get to this topic, last time you were here we were talking about 401k in more, in more detail and I asked you very quickly if someone someone's employer doesn't have a 401k plan, can I still make one myself and how do I go about that? That's right. It depends on you know what your job is or if you're a contract worker, if you're, you know, all those different things. But there are many different ways that you can save, even if your employer doesn't offer a retirement plan. There's, okay. there's individual IRAs, traditional IRAs. If you're a contract worker, you know, if you're doing freelance things, there's there's self uh, individual 401ks, there's SEPs, there's a wide variety of different things. Don't be discouraged if you don't have a retirement plan option through your employer. There are plenty of other ways that you can save for retirement and save for your future. Okay, but and how would one like of course we would recommend come and see you, but is there any resources that people can log into first so they have some form of knowledge before they come to you? Yeah, it's tough, right? Because you know we've it, all yeah. we, we've all been taught how to do a certain job, but you know how does it actually mean? How do we actually manage our money is something that we're typically not often taught, right? So what to do with these different things? Um, you know, get on the internet, familiarize yourself with different types of retirement plans. Gotcha. You know, just use Google. You know, use it as a bouncing board to just type in different things, search for it. But this is something that I specialize in. I do this day in and day out, helping folks figure out what is the retire right retirement plan for them. So let me help and lean on me to do these kind of things because whatever job you're doing, I most likely couldn't do it. But this is something that I think that I'm, I'm pretty good at and know a lot about. Okay. Interesting you say that because one of our viewers wrote in a question to ask you. Okay. All right. And I think it's what most people experience throughout their career. He was saying that he's, he's lost, he's left several jobs and he's, several employers have had 401k retirement plans. Um, what, what options does he have when it comes time to re retirement or should he be incorporating all of them? That's right, you know, because yeah. oftentimes today, you know, we don't see folks staying at one single place no. for their entire employment, right? You know, you're going to work at five or six, seven, eight, maybe even ten different places over the course of your working career. So odds are you're going to have multiple different retirement plans. You could leave them where they are in most cases, or you could choose to consolidate them, which I think would make more sense because you've got different plans here, there, and everywhere, but are they all working together? Are they all working for you to make sure you're going to reach your dreams and goals? I think that consolidating those retirement plans into like an individual retirement account or rolling them all into your current 401k could make sense because all your dollars are in one place. Is there penalties for moving that retirement plan from um, employer A back into employer D? Like, Should, shouldn't be any kind of, there's, there's no federal penalties for that. you're not cashing it in. You're not cashing it in. You're rolling it from one 401k to another. Or you're transferring it. So as long as you don't actually take those dollars, get them in your hands to spend it, as long as it stays in a retirement account, it stays sheltered. You don't lose any of those tax okay. shelter benefits. Um, um, would I come to you with all my retirement plan portfolios and say, there it is, fix it, put it all into one, or do I need my accountant? To help. No, no, this is something that I specialize in and help folks with day in and day out who've got lots of different things in lots of different places. Sit down with an advisor, bring them everything that you've got, let them help you figure out, okay, you've got A, B, C, and D. What do we need to do to get these all working on the same okay. page and what's the best way to do I it? I got you. I work for someone who has their own retirement plan. I don't have a lot of control, okay, but I want to start my own so I can manipulate it and do what I want to do with it. Where do, you, where do you feel about that? That's right. You know, so inside a company sponsored retirement plan, you have to play by their rules, right? Yeah. They're going to give you fun choices. They're going to tell you what you can and can't do. So you have some control as, as far as how much you're putting into it, but how you're actually getting to use it or invest it, you're fairly limited, right? Um, so on the outside, in an individual IRA or when you roll things, consolidate it, you've got more control. You can tailor the investments to you. Well, we're each different. We each have different dreams and goals. You may want to do something different, completely yeah. different than I'd want to do, right? And out on the outside, on your own, you can pick things that are tailored to you and your dreams and goals. Good job, bud. Always good information. Thank you. Appreciate you. If you want to find out more information about Scott Ferguson, he's the man to help you incorporate it all and get you back on the right foot. Financial Concepts. We're back after this short break.